Hello there. So I posted recently videos about the Terrigen 4.6 and I have several questions people ask and you know what it is about same questions asked multiple times so I decided to create this video to address those questions. Okay, the question number one, what is Terrigen? Okay, and Terrigen it is um, application that allowed you to create a digital environment like for example uh, landscapes and clouds atmospheric effects and render them and you can create it um, this way the it's read really to next question is can i model inside the terrigen and modeling inside the terrigen is very limited so it's not modeling tool it's not like your blender cinema 4d where you can specifically create the model it's not your zbrush or anything however you have it some options and tools that can do something similar only related to the landscapes so um, you can go ahead and create some brush tools here you can painting something you can go in objects and preload it or create a primitives object that may interact how i said before it is not modeling tool it is um, environmental tool that allowed you to create landscapes with this another question how much is the cost and this is actually a nice point because it is free version have in a Terrigen. So let me show you. If you go to planetside.co.uk, it's great in UK applications, you'll find here a different versions. The one version's free. It is a little bit limited in functionality. However, you can still create images. You can still render. You can still do all of this effect. If you need it, you can go to Terrigen product comparison website and see how they work. If you decide to purchase this, it's come up with two versions of the purchasing. One, you can buy outright and use it this license, or a second, you can buy subscription to this. I will highly recommend don't buy outright if you're not familiar with applications. I will recommend start your subscription in month, and if you don't like it, you can cancel and don't worry about spending too much money on this. Or if you like it, you can purchase full version. So this is probably best way to go. It's almost like pay trial for the higher versions, but you don't need to purchase because it is a free version is available for you. Um, if you're interested, you can go through all of these functions, what does work, like for example, animation functions does not have av available on the free versions. And uh, also um, you want to get some of my tutorials with these uh, versions. And by the way, I'm creating right now brand new videos that will be accessible and I will address this later in this subject. So you can see some 3D motion, 2D motions not available. You don't have it, some other elements here, geometry exports and all this stuff, which is still be okay. It's more advanced functionality, but you still have it hands on and see if you like it. And the reason is why I said, because if you like it, because it's a little bit different from other applications, it's heavily, heavily depend on the node system so if you're not familiar or you don't feel comfortable working with a node system then maybe you can look on the different applications in this case okay and this is lead to other questions if with a node what actually i can do what i can render if i have this um, as I said, free versions, you can do some animations or other things, but generally you can do actually a lot of stuff. And in a way, how the work I do like a lot, because you can see right here, we have our different cameras, different properties, and you can set output different renders. And you can render like in other cases, you can render um, with some limitations. Let me put this ahead. You can render 3D, full, normal, any aspect ratio you want it. Uh, stereoscopical spherical so you have it, all of these options you can create it so you can fully any type of render you want it and uh, you just create different renders if you need it and you can output at same time well not same time but you can output um, all these different renders and presets which is kind of very very nice in this case and as I mentioned on the nodes how easy to use and tell you true, it is not complex when you know, but it does have it some learning curve. So it's not like you open and you jump and you instantly start creating stunning 
landscapes. No, it will take little time for you to learn how the application work. And this is a lead to our next question about um, does educational materials is available. Um, I don't think it's having any physical book as I found, but it's plenty of videos. If you're going on a YouTube, you look there, you can find plenty in new ones even start coming up. So you have a lot of different tutorials on Terrigen. You can find them there. Um, also, if you're just going to my channel, okay, let me go to going my channel and showing there if you need it. And in this channel, you just need go to the playlists in a playlist you'll find okay let's go create a playlist and you'll find right here um chargent playlist with a lot of lot of tutorials or you can go like to geek at play tutorials and go directly to chargent and in chargent you'll find sets tutorials this is not single tutorials this is a set of tutorials so what i was meaning it's a many different tutorials preset in one like how you work animations or do other ones with Terrigen. They are done for a little bit earlier version Terrigen 4 I think 1 or something not 4.6 but it's not a big difference. The all UI everything look exactly the same. The difference is only they add some additional options like uh, more photorealistic cloud, VDB support clouds and all this other stuff element in this case. So it is plenty of learning materials if you need Okay, the question is, other ones was, does it any alternative if I don't like it? Yes, actually, and I think the strongest competitor or alternative, it is VU. And I work with VU for a long time. I have it a thousand, literally, I have it thousands of tutorials built about VU. And uh, compared to the applications, I have several videos compare. Let me put in a little bit very fast nutshells what is different. VU, honestly, it's have it better in some cases support engines um, like for example plants you cannot totally animate plants or reactive inside the terrigen inside the view plants will interact with the environment with the wind and other stuff if you look on this one um, integration will integrate it better with the cinema 4d 3d max they have a special panel so you can all with the bridges stuff working with this also, I think UI a little bit more sleek inside the view, easy navigate. You don't need to worry. You still, you still have some nodes inside here in a view, but they're kind of layering behind. So if you're more artistic visual, you don't need to actually work with them. You can just fast creating some stuff this way. Um, however, here's things with the pluses with a Terrigen. Uh, I think view a little bit um, overdone. It's have some modules that you hardly will use it, but they still load it, so they're a little bit more heavy applications. And this lead to some okay, um, rare now, used to be more, but now it's very rare, but still sometimes application may crash because complexity of the code. Uh, Terrigen a little bit lighter on the code and it's performed better in this case. Um, next, uh, pricing definitely, because of Vue you need purchase uh, a little bit more expensive and you cannot just buy applications you need purchase monthly fee paying for this it does come with a big um, library of the plants but again if you don't that much worry about animated plants with the wind or other things then in Terrigen you can go to xfrog and download it some free app plants and use it in a Terrigen application by the way both is uh, these applications they are what I call live applications it's meaning the developing teams both uh, working on this heavily um, the VU was uh, several years ago was purchased by Bentley um, not who make cars the <laughs> Bentley a corporation in French could do some architectural software so they have it actually team who working on applications and creating their constantly releasing new updates new releases on the VU. same with Terrigen. Terrigen have a much smaller team but they're actively working on applications so both of these live applications they're constantly updating their release new versions update patches and working with community very close so they're both active in this case and overall without jumping in any more details what you can do again with Terrigen, it is you can create a beautiful stunning environmental art that you can use it inside the still image animations the movies 
by the way, I think it is the Enders Games was using, or some other ones was using the Terrigen as a render in this case. Um, you can probably more find on a website reference was using, and you also can create terrains, everything export and using in your video games. So it is environmental applications that allowed you to create stunning, stunning um, landscapes. Besides that, if you're interested to look on more details, I have another video, I will post the link, so you can look more in-depth comparison between Vue and Terrigen. And this is may also not just comparison, but tell you more ability what Terrigen can provide for you. And as a note, um, tutorials available there for those who are interested, and I'm working on the latest new series, Terrigen 4.6, so I will slowly release them as they make ready. And that is will help you go step by step and learn how to work in this application. Thank you for watching this videos.